We escaped from there, from Laos, you know. We haven't got any clothes with me. I got one suit of clothes, you know. I jump in the, in the boat, cross the river. If they saw me on that time, maybe they're going to shoot me or a lot of people die. You know, my dad, when uh, the communists, they catch him uh, and take him very far away and then put him in the cave with the chains on here and here and put in the cave, that dark cave. He can't come out, can't see any light, can't see anything in there. You know, he living there for how long? For nine years, nine years, ten years. That's why my mom said, you have to go. You have to go, you know, and take your brother, young brother. I'm lucky that I um, escape. I moved right to Australia in 1978. I do volunteer work as a cooking. Okay. I've been cooking at uh, the Lao Temple here more than 20 years already. First time when I met Leslie, I don't know who is she, because she came here as a special guest from, for the temple. And then she come in and eat the food. That's why she asked, the, they got some, some uh, public officer here, about who cooked the food here, you know. And then he tell her about me, and then we meet each other, and then we talk. Which one are, you, are we going to try first, do you reckon? Um, I try sticky rice. And then she's the one who come and ask me to do a food demonstration here. From there on, my relationship with Tao through food has really blossomed. What taste is, we do cultural food to us, basically. But the way that we do that is about recruiting, training local people to become tour guides. Well, we say that the, our best kept secret is that we're not about food at all. The food is a, a way of drawing people into a conversation, really, an interaction. And Taya's always been one of those people, working away in the kitchen, making food. And she's a phenomenal cook. Like, you want no, you okay? Yeah. Okay. The Laos wood is a very important and very famous one. I think most of the people here, um, when they eat Laos food, they really like it. Is that kimchi? Kimchi. Well, you make it. Oh. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, man, she's the leader of the taste tour. Um, I'm the support guy with her. She teach me a lot of things about this. Ingredients? So, mm, about the tour. Oh, so yeah. We're in Fairfield uh, Smart Street, a big Iraqi community here. We run a tour called Babylon and the Light. I remember our Fairfield when I first came to Australia, so nine years ago. It's the most diverse city in Australia, linguistically and ethnically. There's more than 130 nationality. Hello guys, how are you? We here have a proper um, oven, very traditional Iraqi style oven. So all our customers get um, a bit of uh, the different bread that they make and they just, you know, they love us. Thank you so each, much. Plenty. Well, that's too much. Have a good time. Thank you so much. You will come in our show. Thank you. See, that's the same spirit, you know, the generous spirit of the Iraqi people in Fairfield. Next, we might go to the butcher and then we'll get going to Jamil Market. 
Hi Jamil. Hello, Rina. How are you? Hi. Good to Hi. see you. How have you been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Oh, we have a big group this time, 17 people. Yeah. Jamil is from an Assyrian background, and in Iraq, they really love their dried fruit. They love their pickles. And also, you know, of course, all the olives, different kind of olives. I love pickles, I love the olives. Yeah, I love olives. I'm a Mediterranean girl, I can't help myself. The date syrup in Iraq, they mix it with tahini. So that's a very popular uh, kind of um, breakfast tea, light lunch, or little snack thing. Um, they use it with tahini. Yeah, tahina, sesame paste. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye bye, thank you. I'll see you in two weeks. Through the businesses I've been meeting through my work as a tour guide, uh, it's always the same kind of storyline. Uh, we came here for a better life, to educate our children, to provide a better life for our children. He, religious tolerance is, is quite amazing. He, to see a mosque next to a temple, next to a church, that new Australian society. We should embrace it and really make it as a model for, you know, living in harmony. Thank you no, so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having thank us. You. Southwestern Sydney has been full of, you know, migrant communities, new refugees, and now the next generation changing the face of Southwestern Sydney. I grew up in a very small town in the north of England and I remember when we were little one of the things that mum taught us about people was that up there in heaven God was painting the children either pink or brown. When you got freckles that was because some of the brown paint splashed onto the pink children. Such a profound message about people. My mum recently passed away and with a bit of money that she left me, we refurbished the kitchen. My mum, who could never really cook, I quite like the irony of then doing a kitchen in her memory. And that would be Yemen. Hello. Hello, I'm just warning you, you're on film. <laughs> I've got Yemen and Teo coming to make a meal together in my house. Hey, you are. Good morning. How are you? Good. Hello. Well, I might um, get my curry on, and yeah. then and um, then all and then the turns. kitchen's all yours. This is the Lebanese yogurt. So it's not sweet at all. I fry noodles, but Lao style. So what's the sauce? Oil and sugar. Yeah. Put garlic on that. Yeah. And leave it until it's turned brown again. And then you chop tomato like that. Woohoo! Lucky. <laughs> the sauce they put uh, tamarind too. You know? Tamarind. Yeah. You know, tell we use tamarind in Lebanon a lot. We drink it. Really? So many similarities between the cultures. Do you have pomegranates? Like, do you eat yeah. it? Yeah. Do you guys have a fruit? Or the tamarind. tamarind. See, we have so much in common, like you know, with the Asian cuisine. And... Really now? Oh. Mm. It's delicious. I have to come do some cooking lessons with you. Oh my god. Leslie, come have a look. Oh my god. <laughs> And the people said, when they, when they saw all this nice, they said, oh, I can't eat. Oh, this is very special to me. I love this dish. It's called mjadara. It's just such a simple dish, but it just reminds me of home so much. It's an onion, lentil, rice, a bit of cumin. Everyone, when they come and, and taste my, my chicken wing, they like it, especially Leslie too. She's famous for it. Yeah. Cow fried chicken. <laughs> Photos, man. <laughs> All right. 
So well done, ladies. Yeah, well what done. A feast. Pretty amazing. Oh, like look you at have that. Laos chicken wing, Laos uh, stir fried noodle, some baba hanouche, Lebanese baba hanouche, some English, English curry. curry. Yeah, man. Yeah. Laos it, soon set. Set. Soon set. Soon set. That's me, bon appetit. Ah, oh, soon set. set. Mm. Tfaddalo. Tfaddalo. Tfaddalo is like you walk and dig in. Started, I first started in Bunnery. It was a new location at the time. And I was like, oh, what's in Bunnery? <laughs> I live in Bunnery. <laughs> yeah. What can be possibly be interesting in Bunnery? Because we take it for granted. Maybe. Yeah. And then you realize how rich this suburb is. Any suburb. Yeah. Granville, Bunnery, uh, Harris Park, any. It's not only about the food because that goes beyond. Mm. It starts discussions, um, like what we just had this morning, we were talking about different ingredients. So, sim so much similarities, so much different way to use those mm. ingredients. She's good. She's very, I learned by you're myself. very quick mm. learner. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. When I go to the restaurant, I think, I was thinking what they put in there, you know, when they get home. I you go to the about. shops right away, I buy, I make it by myself. Mm. But it tastes more nice. Eh? <laughs> what would you make it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I don't go to Master Chef. Yeah, maybe yeah, you, you should go to Master Chef. You should go to Master Chef. I'll give you the phone number. Yeah. Bring them up now you while we're all here we'll on vote. camera. Yeah. We'll vote for you. We will all vote. Yeah. I need more time. Oh, you're